Welcome to Poland Daily Culture. On today's episode, we're here in central Poland in the little city of Wawicz. Behind me is the Wawicz Ethnographic Museum. We're going to be showing you around the museum and all the sites inside. So you're going to find a lot more about Polish traditional culture. So join us on another fascinating journey around Polish culture. One of the monuments of Wawicz sculpture, from architectural monument and historical mementos to folk art, is the museum in Wawicz. It is located in the former seminary, designed by Tillman from Gemeran, and erected at the end of the 17th century by the primate Michał Radziejowski. The museum sets out to inspire the visitors and sensitize them to the past and current traditions of the region by the means of exhibitions, cultural events and educational activities. The history of the museum collection in Łowicz dates back to the turn of the 19th century and 20th century and is strongly connected with Władysław Tarczyński, a collector and a social worker. He made his collection available to the public in 1905 and called it the Antiquities Collection. The museum developed rapidly. It owned over 3,200 exhibits and a library until the outbreak of the First World War. For this, Wawtarczyński also included objects and tools from the field of ethnography in the historical artistic collection. The Ethnographic Museum of Polish Tourist Society opened in 1910 and based on the collection of an outstanding social worker, Aniela Chmielinska. The collection of the Municipal Museum and the Ethnographic Museum was originally located together in a building purchased for the museum purposes at 16 Staderynek Street, which was opened to the public until 1939. The period of the Second World War caused subsequent losses in the museum collections. The National Museum in Warsaw took over both collections in 1948 and formed its department. Connected collections were given a new residence in a reconstructed religious building dated from 1689. Owned by the Cardinal Michał Radziejowski Foundation, the branch of the Baroque Art in Poland is situated in a former primate chapel dedicated to St. Karol Boromeusz. It is an original flank of the 17th century building, which wasn't destroyed during wartime. The interior vault is designed by Tillman from Jamaran and is decorated with illusionistic frescoes by Michelangelo Paloni, showing the life of Charles Borromeo, a patron, missionary and bishop of Milan. It's the best example of the Italian painter's artistic work in Poland from the turn of the 17th and 18th centuries. The paintings perfectly harmonizes with the stucco decoration on the vault and walls. There are also examples of artistic craft inside, such as furniture, fabrics, glassware, goldsmith, work, porcelain, painting and sculpture. Could you tell us a little something more about the spectacular painting on the ceiling? What was the inspiration or who were the painters? Freski malował Michał Anioł Palloni i to jest przykład malarstwa iluzjonistycznego. The frescoes were painted by Michelangelo Palloni and it's an example of the so-called trompe l'oeil art style in which some elements are painted and some are glued onto it, creating the impression that they are coming out of the picture. Elementy wychodzą z tego fresku. To jest właśnie ten przykład malarstwa iluzjonistycznego. No i w ramach tych fresków są... The frescoes show scenes of the life of Saint Charles Borromeo, who was the patron of this chapel and a bishop of Milan. Założenie było takie, że ponieważ było to miejsce, gdzie ci młodzi chłopcy It was intended for all the young boys who studied here to become priests, so they could learn about their chapel's patron. dla życia księdza, to pokazane były właśnie różne sceny z życia patrona. Uh -huh. Yeah, looking around the room, I can see a lot of artifacts in, dotted around the outside of the room. Could you tell us a little something about some of the artifacts here? Tak, prezentujemy tutaj na wystawie przykłady polskiego baroku. We present here different examples of the Polish Baroque. Pottery, glass, craftsmanship objects, furniture, wooden sculptures and paintings. This is how we present the Baroque era in Poland. I'm wondering, so the original purpose 
of this building was, of course, to teach priests. But what is it used for today? Does it have similar or the same purpose or something different altogether? Uh, not for today. The building is the museum, so we welcome the tourists. We show the history of the city and the Wawitski region, the ethnography of the Duchy of Wawitsk and Baroque. This chapel, however, due to its wonderful acoustics, is the place of many town events, like different ceremonies and concerts, which take place right here in this hall, and they are amazing to listen to. Uh -huh. So they have kind of orchestras playing at the front sometimes, or...? There isn't much space here, but a few musicians and a singer can easily find room for their performance. And this is open to the public? Yes. When the concerts are taking place, they are open to the public. And do they have any other kind of events where uh, members of the public are invited to watch something? Or? There are plenty of events taking place here, especially the official town ceremonies or those organized by other institutions. W tym miejscu odbywają się również koncerty zarówno organizowane przez instytucje, ale również koncerty organizowane przez szkoły. Musical schools also visit us, so their students can show their skills in this wonderful avenue. W grze na instrumentach, więc tak naprawdę wydarzeń bardzo wiele. Mariana, it's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you very much for joining us here, Poland Daily Culture. Dziękuję bardzo. The branch of the Baroque art in Poland is situated in a former primate chapel dedicated to Saint Karol Borromeus. It is an original flank of the 17th century building which wasn't destroyed during wartime. The interior vault is designed by Tillman from Gameren and is decorated with illusionistic frescoes by Michelangelo Palloni, showing the life of Charles Borromeo, a patron, missionary and bishop of Milan. It's the best example of the Italian painter's artistic work in Poland from the turn of the 17th and 18th centuries. The paintings perfectly harmonize with the stucco decoration on the vault and walls. There are also other examples of artistic craft inside, such as furniture, fabrics, glassware, goldsmith work, porcelain, paintings and sculpture. The frescoes, called the most beautiful north of Alps, are example of illusionistic paintings and probably the most interesting applications in Poland. They occupy an area of approximately 360 meters square. They are divided with buttresses into four bays and two wall shields. They depict the procession of St. Charles Borromeo during the Plague of Milan, St. Charles Borromeo visiting school building site, St. Charles Borromeo hanging out arms and hugging orphans, St. Charles Borromeo giving the Holy Communion to the infected, glorification and the assumption of St. Charles Borromeo. The individual scenes are set in painted illusionistic architecture. The order of the scenes is not accidental. It was addressed to future clergy enrolled to the seminary. 